concern to the Vintage City Police and I'm sure to other law enforcement agencies as well, that there is simply too many people carrying too many weapons uh, on our street and very often this you find that if there's a fight that broke out that you know these weapons are used and people lose their lives. We saw an incident this evening where exactly that happened, where um, somebody was shot and unfortunately they passed away on the scene as well as the uh, many young men that we found just on our streets carrying sharp you know knives and all kinds of things and without really any reason for doing so and you know once there's just a small provocation very often these things are used in in they result in in disasters so stop and search is, is something that we are going to continue doing for the most part of this year where we will stop when we suspect there's something suspicious there, we will, suspe we will stop and make sure that we search and remove um, these dangerous items. Um, we've even f encountered a few individuals with firearms this evening, and that is also another concern, especially if it's unlicensed firearms. So, yeah, we just want to make sure that people are safe in winter, and therefore we are going to continue with that. Um, we've also seen some gender-based violence this evening. Um, in front of one of the challenges I must say that the police is facing is very often that the victims are not willing or have not plugged up enough courage to see the process through and ensure that we, we hold whoever the, the person was who abused them accountable. And in, in many instances, it's repetitive abuse over and over and over. Like tonight, the lady was indicating she was tired of it, but it appeared she still didn't have enough courage just to go and open up a case. And therefore, we want to ask um, even our community leaders, our church leaders, to counsel and talk to our members and talk to our community members so that we get to a place where we can really say enough is enough and we all act.